Hello and welcome to the channel. In the last video, we talked about the Archopletus genus. In this video, we're going to talk about the Acantharchus genus, and there's only one species in this genus, and it's the mud sunfish. The generic name, Acantharchus, means spiny or thorned anus. This name refers to the large number of well-developed anal fin spines. Mud sunfish have five or more anal fin spines. The specific name, Pomotus, comes from the combination of the Greek word poma, meaning cover, and the Latin word otis, meaning ear. Pomotus was at one time considered the genus of other brim, or the genus of the short ear brim. Lipomus, which we'll get to in a minute, means scaled ear. So all species in the Lipomus genus, bluegill, red breast, long ear, have a well-developed opercular flap, which is the flap or lobe at the edge of the gill cover. This flap is sometimes called an ear, even though it's just an extension of the gill cover. Mud sunfish have a dark opercular spot, but they do not have a well-developed flap or lobe. It's very short, so the gill cover appears more rounded. Mud sunfish are also the only member of the sunfish family with cycloid scales. Cycloid scales are really small scales. Salmon, trout, minnows, and pike are just a few fish that have cycloid scales. Uh, out of, you know, there's over 40 species in the sunfish family, and this is the only one with these uh, cycloid scales. All other members of the sunfish family have tenoid scales. Mud sunfish are also the only member of the sunfish family outside the banded sunfish genus Aeneacanthus to have a rounded caudal fin. So the mud sunfish, like all centrarchids, is a freshwater species native only to North America. They have a laterally compressed body shape and the anal fin has multiple spines. The dorsal fins are fused or broadly connected. The males also construct and guard a nest. And what are some of the characteristics that distinguish the mud sunfish from other centrarchids? The anal fin has four to six spines with nine to 11 rays. The spiny dorsal has 10 to 12 spines and the soft dorsal has nine to 13 rays. They're the only sunfish with cycloid scales. They're also the only centrarchid outside the banded sunfish genus with a rounded caudal fin. Mud sunfish also have three to four dark horizontal stripes that extend across the head, one to two stripes above the eye, one through the eye, and one along the upper jaw. They also have four to five horizontal stripes along the body. These body stripes can sometimes appear mottled. Most anglers have probably never heard of or seen a mud sunfish, and that's mainly because of where these fish live. The mud sunfish inhabits swamps, wetlands, sloughs, side channels, and pools of low gradient creeks and small to medium rivers. They seem to prefer slow moving, shallow areas with dense aquatic plant growth. Since there's usually little or no current in this kind of habitat, the water can be extremely acidic and low in oxygen. The bottom is often covered with mud, silt, or detritus, which in this case is mostly dead plant material. And as you might have guessed, a preference for this kind of habitat is pretty much how the mud sunfish got its name. This low gradient, low velocity stream habitat is most common along the Atlantic and Gulf Coastal Plains of the Eastern United States so the mud sunfish occurs primarily on the Atlantic coastal plain and in lower Piedmont drainages from New York to Florida. Mud sunfish are also found in Gulf coastal plain drainages from the Mobile Basin in Alabama east to the Suwannee drainage in Florida. The mud sunfish is a small fish that rarely exceeds six inches, but they can max out around eight inches. They do have relatively large mouths for their size the upper maxilla or upper jaw extends almost to the back of the eye when the mouth is closed. Mud sunfish primarily feed on small insects and crustaceans. 